We're at the eye of the storm here at the South African Weather Service in Pretoria, where senior forecaster Pusile Tomofuking has been tracking down the storm that's hit Cape Town. Well, as early as uh, the middle of uh, last week, we did pick up that uh, the storm is uh, to develop uh, um, today and uh, starting from yesterday. We monitored the consistency of uh, the models in the next few days, uh, but on Friday we did then uh, issue the media release um, uh, alerting the public of uh, the storm that is to hit the, the Cape. And uh, it is good that uh, uh, at this point um, we have the disaster management um, at hand, um, working very well with uh, the systems, uh, allocating people correctly where they're supposed to be. Uh, the storm is still quite strong at the moment. We still have uh, strong winds um, reaching, we expect them to reach about 90 uh, kilometers an hour, which is quite strong. And uh, uh, in other areas, we already had uh, recorded rainfall exceeding uh, 50 millimeters. We have about uh, 63 millimeters uh, uh, near Hrabro, uh, but other areas, uh, uh, millimeters which are between 20 and 30, had been recorded as yet. We expect more rain later on today. We still have uh, the warning for possible heavy rain over and above the strong winds and the high seas, which uh, will exceed uh, uh, 10 meters, especially along the southwest coast, that is around Cape Town and uh, all the way to about uh, uh, Cape Agalas. But even in other uh, coast of uh, the Western Cape, uh, the high seas are still expected. We still have uh, high seas exceeding 8 meters. Uh, these uh, high seas are expected to spread to uh, the coast of Namibia, but by then they will just be referring to them as uh, rough seas. So later today, uh, going to the evening, we can expect uh, uh, the snowfall to actually occur on the western mountains of uh, the Western Cape, uh, spreading to the extreme southwestern mountains of uh, the Northern Cape, that is in the areas of Calfinia, uh, Sutherland, and uh, that's where we can expect the disruptive snowfall. Uh, it's nothing that, it's something that we are monitoring at the moment. We are not necessarily saying it will be so, but we are monitoring that. We expect that uh, uh, further, further uh, the, uh, the snowfall will spread to the eastern mountains of uh, the Western Cape, uh, while the rainfall will be still continuing. And uh, beyond that, uh, um, by tomorrow, we can expect uh, lesser rainfall, especially in the morning. I think going into the afternoon, much of the rainfall will be only confined along the coast. Uh, besides that, uh, we can expect the cooler conditions to spread and reach Houting province. Uh, we can expect temperatures to fall below 20 degrees, especially in the afternoon. Uh, Johannesburg is expected to reach about 16 degrees, while Pretoria is to reach uh, 18. Uh, those conditions are to persist into the next day. That will be the cold air uh, behind the, the cold front. And in the free state, uh, on Friday already, we can expect uh, the black frost, meaning um, uh, the, the plants will actually try out uh, with, with, with no moisture um, with them. Well, on Friday morning, we expect uh, the minimum temperatures to be very cold. Uh, in the southern half of uh, Houting, from Johannesburg, so way to Tembisa, going down to Ferenaheng, the temperatures there could be anything between minus two and zero degrees. Uh, but going coming up to the Victoria uh, city and uh, municipalities in the surrounding, we can expect uh, the temperatures there to be slightly above zero degrees, but it will be very cold across the province. Those conditions are to persist into onto Saturday.